tableau and why they matter so here we have a map of the united states with every single county's average rent in here so we hover over it we see el paso bottom 20 percent of people income has 542 dollars average rent and the top 20 percent of income has 1548 average rent so let's say we want to be able to filter this by state and county name and change this number right here to see the average rent for whatever state and county name we narrow it down to or just the state in general so let's try it really quick Connecticut it's still 962.1 why is it still 962.1 because we do not have our filter set cascading onto the metric as we do on the map. So, what we are going to do here to make sure every single number changes is we are going to take a look at our map. And we're going to take a look at our average rent and we are going to see what that can be filtered by. So, our average rent can be filtered by state, top 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80th percentile, and the bottom 20th percentile, and the average throughout all of that. And also the county town name. So what we're gonna do here is since right now on the map, we really aren't getting anything back in this field, when we select anything, we are going to go over to this average rent tab and click these filters and right click them, apply to worksheets, select the worksheets, and we're going to apply it to the map. So we're going to do the same with all of these. And by doing this, it is going to be able to change this little card on the map to reflect whatever we have the map filtered down to. So this is extremely important when you are doing something such as measuring KPIs correctly, making sure all of your reporting metrics are correct, comparing data against one another. If you have one of these not dependent on the right sheet that it should be, it could screw up your entire dashboard. So, let's get this going. Cool. So, now, this will show up over here in the map tab now. So now when we go back to dashboard one with the average rent per state, we want to see the average rent for let's just say, um, I'm curious about Illinois in general. So average rent throughout all of Illinois is 857.4. So let's get down to a little more detail i know cook county is a lot more close to chicago so that should be a little bit higher and yeah the average rent is 1202 so as you can see now with this filter dynamically we can basically optimize the best cheapest place to live in chicago by seeing how much every single county has on an average for rent and by hovering over these points we can see that even though cook even though cook county has an average rent of 1202 the bottom 20 percentile of income people make around $775 a month average rent. The 21 to 40th make around $881 average rent. 
and you see the rest and then the top 20 percentile pay around 1500 dollars a month for average rent so that is how you do cascading filters and that is why they matter so you can add filters from cards onto your dashboards to measure whatever metrics you may want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for more cool tableau videos i know 2020.1 just came out so i should have some cool stuff on that coming up soon